It's exhausting when you try to fight the battle that belongs to the Lord. Let God defend you. The battle is not yours. Let's talk about that. Hi everyone, welcome to Mana for Thought. Often, you will find people who try to make you feel as if you are lesser than they are, as if they are better than you and you belong under their feet. But no one can make you feel less than you are unless you allow them to do so. When people treat you in that manner, your first instinct is to fight back. But does that battle belong to you? I recently had a situation or an experience where someone went out of their way to make me feel as if I am lesser than they are, as if I needed to be reminded that I am not their equal. How they acted toward me and how they communicated with me. When this happened, I felt the need to fight back, to defend myself so that they would know that I am their equal and that they are not better than I am. People who make us feel that way or feel small want to take away your power so that you will cave into their desires so that you would feel compelled to act and think the way that they want. This situation reminded me of the story of David and Goliath. How they scorned David and laughed at him when they saw that he was just a youth. He was just a kid that was coming up against them. This is what they said to David. Am I a dog that thou comest against me or come to me with staves? Come to me and I will give thy flesh unto the fowls of the air and to the beasts of the field. They looked down on David. They looked at his size, not the God that sent him. After the situation took place, I felt drained and exhausted at the end of the day, as if I was in a physical fight. It didn't matter who won or lost at that point. When it was all said and done, it didn't feel gratifying. On the contrary, it felt defeating because I spent this entire time trying to convince an individual that I am just as worthy as they are. I wasn't happy, so I took it to the Lord. And the question I felt the Holy Spirit was asking me was, why am I fighting the battles that belong to the Lord? If I had surrendered to the situation, humbled myself, God would have picked up the fight on my behalf. But you see, God can fight the battle if you are already in the ring. So you have to step out and let him fight on your behalf. I was fighting a physical battle. If I had surrendered and allowed God to take over, it would, ha it would have been different. When David went to fight Goliath, in 1 Samuel 17, he said this, Thou comest to, to me with a sword and with a spear and with a shield, but I come to thee in the name of the Lord of hosts, the God of the army of Israel. I was reminded that people could say and do all sorts of things, but how you feel about yourself is a choice we make. You can choose to feel big or small, powerful or powerless in any situation. I was not fighting in the name of the Lord because I was fighting in the flesh. I should have taken a page out of David's book when he said this to Goliath. The Lord saveth not with sword and spear, for the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into our hands. David was confident in the Lord, but Goliath was bigger, stronger, and he had a sword and a spear. And all David had was his stones and his sling. 
it was evident in the natural that Goliath had the upper hand, but because David came in the name of the Lord, he had the victory. So when people look down on you, they treat you differently because they think they are better than you. Trust in the Lord. Humble yourself to the situation and allow God to fight your battle because he will be your defense. I'm Alison Cornelius and thank you for joining me on Mana for Thought.